Habiesio, Hosanna, oh, I know that Jesus is here. Habiesio, Hosanna, oh, I know, I know that Jesus is here. Eze, 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 mo, I know that Jesus is here. Eze, 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 mo, I know, I know that Jesus is here. Oja chama chama me chama chala me chama chala me oh I know I know that Jesus is here chama chala me chama 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 chala me oh I know I know that Jesus is here. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, I know that Jesus is here. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen and amen almighty almighty all sufficient the King of glory, the God of all flesh, the all-sufficient, the God who is able to do all things. I worship your name this morning. I bow before your throne. I glorify you. I honor you. And I give you praise. Thank you for life. Thank you for godliness. Thank you for everything in between. I bow before you, O God, almighty, immortal, invisible, only wise God, the king that does all things well. I worship you. 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 all sufficient, powerful, altogether kind, loving, merciful, the God that does exceedingly, the God that does abundantly, the God that does above. I bow before your throne, O God. I worship you. You are the King Majestic. You are the God of all flesh. You are the I am that I am. I honor you. I bow before your throne. Zikete la bradu sekete yema. Zanta libra de ke seke lebo. Kasi la bida du de shekete li madiga. Zanda libra to sokoto. Zika liba diga de ke shekete yema. Zente libra kasukete yema, zakata libra de gede, zoto lubra ke sakanda yema to, zakate li madika shikata, braze gede gede gede, gasukoto lubra de gede, gasuga lebe gese kenta yema tu kade, bazu de 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 bodo, zakate le gede gede bago. Jeketeli gada geda geda bo. Zubraha zeketele keteliga. 
Zakata ye madeke sende libadon. Power, power, power walking in me. Yes, I know that Jesus is here. Zekete libra hunda yema. Zekete liga libra da dege de. Zekete boko sokoto yumade. Janda libra kusekete yiga labadu sekenda yema. Bosoto yegede. Zada di da de baku. Zekete badu kashinga lama. Brasu kete kate liga. Zakata libra dege dege. Zede de 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 bodoko sonto yuma. Zata ye kete. Zatula brege de kasiga la mage. Basute ye makra zata ye ka. Jesus, I honor you. Jesus, I honor you. Jesus, I honor you. Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, I give you praise. The immortal, the invisible, the only wise God, the King majestic, the God of all flesh, the put of forth of power, the King, the one that does exceedingly, the one that does abundantly, the one that does above. Lord Jesus, I honor your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, almighty, all sufficient, all together kind, the king of all things, the God of all glory, the almighty Jesus, 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 I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I honor you, dear. Thank you, Lord. I honor you, Jesus. Ancient of days. Ancient of days. Ancient of days. Ancient of days. I worship your name. Have your way in my life. Have your way in my life. Have your way in my life. So katalege lege baduka segele. Brasuta yegele magatata. Brosoto yumadi kasi kanta ye. Kasi katalege dege bodo. Zakata lega dagi da badu santa. Shaga da de 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 bodo kosokoto. Brasu dege de kate kete yema. Basunta ye make it tell you gada get again. Brasuke tell you get again, get again, get again, get again, get again, Jesus, 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 I worship you. I honor you. I bow before your throne. Zantali gade. Zakatili made gade. Brazukata ye made kasanda ye kete. Also to ye keta liga libra diga zikanta. Basute te ye gede kete leba. Basunte ye makusa kete legede. Brasu kete la kataluga zigade bado. Jesus. Jesus. We worship your name. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for doing all things well. I honor you. I honor you. I honor you, but Lord, you are good because you are faithful. Jesus, thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Almighty, thank you. All sufficient, thank you. Powerful, thank you. Ancient of this, thank you. Zikataliga Libra Doko Sigele. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. Sekete liga libra de. Basu kata liga de. Zegele bodoko shoto luba de. Sakita libro doko sekete yema de. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We worship your name. Jesus. Shantalube de Kasunda ye makita liga dage. We honor your name, O God. Thank you. Eh, Kaluba de Gede. Is it a sekete? Eke seke lebo kosun to yeba. So to live a again. Jesus, we honor your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We honor and we worship you. In Jesus' name. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the call. Please share the link. God bless you as you, rest, as you do so in Jesus' name. This morning, we're going to be praying and asking God for direction. We want to look at what God's word says about direction and we want to key in. I don't know about you, but where I am right now on this journey, I need a fresh, um, fresh eyes to see the direction that God is leading. I need to know what step to take and when to take it. I need to know who to go with me or who not to go with me. There are many things that I need and only the Spirit of God can provide that. So this morning I thought that if you're feeling like, you know, the day before we said go for it, then the next day we said do not be in a hurry. It brings us to one thing and one thing alone. We need to be led by the Spirit of God. So let's begin to Thank God because he's led us in the past. If you've ever had God lead you in a, whether lead you um, and you knew he was leading you or you stumbled into it and you realize ultimately that it was God leading you, this morning is the time for us to thank God for that. Thank God for the direction you've received from him in the past. Father Lord, I thank you for how your Holy Spirit has led us in the past. Thank you, Lord, for the day you told me to start encompasses. Life spring first, then encompasses. Thank you for the journey that led me to the um, to Effectual Magazine. Thank you for the birth of Verbatim Communications. Thank you for the foray to all the many things you led us to do in that time. Thank you for encompasses ultimately. And Lord, thank you for the well. Thank you for every step of the way that you've led us. Thank you for moving us from one location to the other, always by your word. And thank you for making room for us wherever you lead us. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. Almighty, I'm grateful for this journey. This morning I've come to say thank you. Thank you for people, oh God, over the years that you've brought around for the ones that you showed us expressly that we could work with, for the ones you told us a categorical no, for the ones that you showed us when the seasons were over. Father Lord, this morning I'm here to say thank you for holding my hand this number of years. Lord, thank you. To you be all the praise. Thank you, Lord, for teaching me how to hear you. Thank you for giving me the boldness to speak what I hear. Thank you for training me in the details. Thank you, Lord, for direction over these years. Lord, I'm saying thank you. To you be all the praise. To you be all the glory. Thank you for the capacity to hear you by the Spirit. Almighty God, thank you. I am grateful this morning. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the many yeses I have lived through. Thank you for the categorical no's that I have received. Thank you, Lord, that no matter what, you have endowed one to be able to say yes to whatever you say, to say yes to your no and continue to move. Father, this morning, I'm thankful for directions in the past. Lord, we are in another season. You are the one that called the play. Lord, I'm asking for your direction. I'm asking that you be my, your spirit will be my ultimate coach in the name of Jesus. Lord, I am clear that mistakes, that the higher we go on this journey, the less mistakes are toler tolerable. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I do not want to make mistakes. I'm asking that you will lead me by your spirit. Thank you for your spirit of discernment that is heavy. Father, Lord, therefore, you lead us in the way and the path that we should go. Thank you for your voice we hear behind us saying this is the way to go walk in it. In this season, oh God, we need your direction like never before. Lord, we surrender to be led by your spirit. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. I want you to pray this morning and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive capacity to trust you with all of my heart, that I will not be leaning on my own understanding, O God. Every single way that I have, may I acknowledge you so that you make my path straight in the name of Jesus. Whether it's in business, ask that he will lead you today. Whether it's in a partnership, ask that you would hear his voice. Zandalu Made, Father Lord, that you give me the capacity to see beyond the surface. Basun de le mekete, Zukanta lume de kati, Zaprate kaseke katu labi, Zegele mago so kotoli, brada de kata yu made, Zandula mikata kaliga da gede bogoto toye, Zatalu batu sekete li made, Zandalu medeke seketo lubade. In Psalm 32, verse number 8. Psalm 32, verse number 8. It says, I will instruct you. And teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Brazoto ye meketale. Lord, we show up for your counsel this morning. Zindele bakusa kanda legede. We come to receive your instructions, O God. O God. Kalima gizege de gede batusanda. Zekete le baduka suka lama gede gede badutanta ye matusage. Azanda libra kuteke, zotolu braduke se kenta ye mado, zotole badika se ketele magasa kanta yigade. In Psalm 37 verse 23, Psalm 37 verse 23, it says the steps of the, of a man, the righteous, the Bible says, are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. I want you to begin to speak. Lord, I delight in your way. Establish my steps, O God. Father, let I may I not take any step outside of you. In the name of Jesus. For the things that have to do with my life only. And for the things that have to do with your will. For the things that have to do with my journey with others. Us. In the name of Jesus, I receive the capacity to hear your voice and know what you're saying, O God. Zapraku Senge Dakuta Kelima. Ezede bakute kete ye makusanda ye kete. Zubra duge dege mahanda yu kete ligaduba duga ziga. Ezeke kato koto lomegede. In Isaiah 11 verse 2. Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. It says, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and might. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of him. Kuta libra de gezeke te yema. Zundeli katula kitata yabade. Gazuka tale megete. 
kete kete ye zoprako segede baduka sundo ye maka gete ye kete liga dadute te ze kete liga lege dege lord i make room for your spirit upon my life let the spirit of wisdom and understanding let it rest upon me in the name of jesus let the, your spirit of counsel and might let it take over my life oh god in the name of jesus the spirit of knowledge and the fear of god sundele makuta ye Azadi de 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 bodo do. Da kuta ta ye mege zeke te lege. Zupratu ta ta ye gele. Zundali makata yu gelega. Zuntele ke te le ke te li ke te la gida badusha nda ye ma. Zopra koto ye ga diga da guzente ye makuta ye. Zumpradu de de gede ge. Da suda le mege de ga do. Lord, I do not want to know but go by myself. Lord, I do not want to go by myself. I want to be led of you, O God. Shu kata liga ze kata le maga zuge. Ozo. Zo do kan sunga de zembra do ko sungo de yama zukete ye gaduka ta yumata zingaliga duge de gaduka to lumati kashige. Gazanda le mageta kuta ta yiga liga dopa zumbre de katu kete ye makatu la gida gida. Azanda yekete, zumpra tu kese gedeba, zumbeli makatu lagi dage, zumto yebe kedekete le magasikanta yukata ligade, gasunde le pa, zumpre kete yege, zokoto yibadi, zande la makatuya, lekete le bradu, zumbedega dugadiga, zikanta yekete lege poko sokoto lomade. In Jeremiah 33 verse number 3, it says, call to me and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. My father and my God, this thing of the journey i have never walked before i'm calling on you this morning oh god according to your word in jeremiah 33 verse number three that lord you will show me great and hidden things that i have not yet known in the name of jesus do do baduka sunba yema zupra kute ke katoko toye makati la ginda li pratu sende yako zoketele magaziga liga de gaduto sunde yeketeli jita la mahete zoketele badutata yetele pakusa kanda de makuta liga liga duga de gede Azinda li makuta yiga luga. Zubre de 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 badu sakanda. Eje kutan luma diga ziga liga de 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 de. Zonto libra de 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 bo. Zonto luma de kashiga liga da gadute. Ege de 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 boto shoto luma de kese. Zonto luma de ke se ke te le ge de ge de patu sanda. Ege ze ke te le badu. Ege se ke te le madu ka sanda. Ege de ge de ba. O zonto yo made ka se ke te le. Gazunda li madeke, ozo kota ye madi, zembradu katsukanda ye kete legede, zupatu sandele mako sanda ye kati lagedaba, joprakutende ye makatu lagedagade. Lord, as I call, oh God, I ask that you would answer. Lord, that you show me great and mighty things that I have not yet known. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, that concerning this phase of my journey, I will not be in the dark. Hula bahu zegede ba katu la mega zeke. Zendele ba kusa kanda ye patu la mega zeke da. Joto le bradu de de kasi gali makanta yi kasi la gida da boda. Jekete lega de gede ba kasu kanda. Zekete li bradu de 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 badu kasi gali magada gege. Zanto li kati. Gisakata yu mekete liga laga do badu senda yema. Oso prakute kete. Zunkali magishanta yekete liga do badu zenda yekele. Oto to le braka senda yema kute liga laga da li bade. Pre katu le mehega zunde le made. Ezeketa le made. Doko sondo le make Ozo konda yi kati la gade Zekete lege dege 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 Ozo nto li madika sekete lega Ozo to de ye patu zete ya me Ozo koto lu madika zi kati la gade Gazanda li gade kete le mado Zubra dege dege da gida dade Junto lu madika sekete li In Proverbs 16 verse number 9 The Bible says the heart of man plans his way But the Lord establishes his step I want you to speak to God and say, Lord, let the plans of my heart be your plans. And Lord, establish my steps. Lord, let the plans of my heart be your plans. And Lord, establish my steps. Father, let the plans of my heart be your plans. And Lord, establish my steps. In the name of Jesus. Let 
Zendeli brahasa kinda yemeketze lebo. Abra suketele magazanta yi galiga. Jodolo do do badi kese ketele made. Gasa kanda. Ago santo yema. Zekelege de bagasanta yi madoko sokota libra diga de. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for your leading, O God. 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 Almighty God, thank you for your leading. Holy Spirit, thank you because you lead us. Jega da guta ta kesing telema toka gaza kutelema de zebra tu se ne yema kusa kanda yege. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want us to pray for Nigeria this morning. According to Numbers twenty-three, verse number twenty-three, we are praying for Nigeria. It says surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what God had God wrought. I want us to personalize it to Nigeria. I want you to declare, surely there is no enchantment against Nigeria. Neither is there any divination against Nigeria. According to this time, it shall be said of Nigeria and of Nigeria, what had God wrought. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bring their plans to nothing. Busokunda yeke taliga luga da game. Zotolu brada deka sekate. Azentele madika sekete yiba. Zopratu sekete katule madu senge. Zumbradu kete ye galiba gasuka tayema. Azandali madika sekete lega. Brosotolu madika siga laga de gay. Zandeli magute kete yiga diga da baku senda yemako. O patu sendele meke te liga lagada. Zumpre teke tale. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, you lead Nigeria. Father Lord, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, you stand for us. Liga bradu sendele made. Father Lord, by, we raise a standard of the blood against every enchantment. We raise the standard of the blood against every divination. In the name of Jesus, every divination and enchantment in this Nigeria, we nullify and we, all, we, we raise the void in the name of Jesus. Braco Sanda, Yeke Telege, Buzan de Yema Katula Gida Gede, Gaza Kutale, Brazuke Teyema, Oso Kondo Yemeketa Liga Liga Dodo, Jopre Ketele, we call Nigeria forth into light. Zekele Manga Suketele Magatoko Toliga Liga Dabado, we call Nigeria forth into light. Zebraka Sege de Gebaku Sanda Yemeketa Liga Do, we call Nigeria forth to light. Zege de 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 Sakanda yima kataliga da gede. We call Nigeria fought to light. Zimba lima kusekete. Zoku lo badika siga lamatu. Zendeleketa telebagu zandalima katolo. Jubrede gadika taye makusangadiga zikantalega dega dabo. Zumbra deketa kuta. Zunkatalima gadage. Ozo kotale madika singa lagatu. Jukenda likete legenda di damba du zendele makute ye. Zoke legede baduka sandaye makutaliga de. Azandali brato sonde ye, zumbrege bakusunda ye matuka, zembradu dege 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 de, zumbradu dege daga tutu yomade, rezeke patu sondo ye nakati la gidago, zumbrago zekete ye kete limadu, jumbrega duga zika daga duga dege de, gazundali makete kete yiga lugada, zumbeli gadu kusundo ye meketa luga ziga labra, zumbra dega do koto, Nigeria step into light, nukenda ye makisa gidado, Nigeria step into light. Kalima guzanda yeke telega zobra duke senda yema katila gida do gasa katalima di kashende le mado in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we call Nigeria forth into light Father we thank you we honor you we give you praise O God in Jesus name I want us to pray this morning for anyone who has something ahead of them whether they have a um, a, a, a a surgery or a procedure. They have an interview. They have an appointment that decides 
a future or a fate. I want us to bring all of that before God this morning. Zimbra tu ke sege lega di ke sinda ye makata zeke telege le bagu zanda ye makatulaga zompre te kasugele zopete ni madaka sende yeka zokataliga la brodo zendele matu se kenta yigade zebre de de patu kasendele makati lagi dagado zonde le badu kasenta ye meke tele zokataliga de ge de ge da di da du badu kasende ye ma o zompra tu kese zumba le madika shangade zokende li bradu kasege de ge de ge de zoketeli bradu kesende ye makata yiga zandale bradu kosonko to ye galiga daga zipa tu shondole makate ye gele ge de bo zubragu seketele magi sakanda intercede for yourself intercede for your loved ones bahunda le mege katoko to yiga di zebragu zeketele gaduba zunda ye makata zeketele ge de bo do suto yu madiki senda ye katali badu Azanda li mahika sika tale. Brasuke tele madika shinda yi matu. Zege de dede badika sika ntayi madika dege lege de ba. Jubre dega suke te ye madika singa lika taliga la badu. Jeke te ika tula migali. Ozo do bahida li bahuda li baka zeke. Jete te ye bahuda li badu kose. Zede baku sanda yi matu yika siga la badu ke shinda li madu. Let's pray for all who travel today. That the Lord, the God of heaven, will grant them journey messes. Basukete le magazanta lega. That will take them and bring them and take them to their destination safe. In the name of Jesus. Pasute basukata zekete zekete liba zebra do kusundo yemeke zakata limadika singe lebodo zanda libra kasande yikata lege. Zigale bodo kusundo yi makasi galiga. Eje de 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 baga sanda ye meke. Zuktelega diga di baduka sinda ye makoto ye gede. Lord Jesus, sampalu medeke. Jekete li baduge zekete leba. Jendele baku sakanda ye makate. Zi la lu badu de de. Zumbre de ga zikata ye ma. Ozon konto ye ma gade 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 kete liga. Lord, we worship you. 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 Zakate le mega de gade. Ege zekete le bada. Zogo do go do koto ye maka singa de. Gaziga li magata kada. Zegele badoko soko to yema. Janda leke teliga la gadage de bogodo. Gaseke teliga liga la badu sanda. Jege de 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 de. Zabra duke sende le makato. Jesus sali makase gede gede baku tata yema. Jesus sele magatu tayiga liga de gede bodo. Jesus sukanta yeke teli bradade. Father thank you. Father thank you. We know you've heard us. We know you've answered. We know as we've, as we've asked you, we do. In the name of Jesus. Whether for the one, O oh God, who is um, going for an IVS, IVF procedure, or for the one, O oh God, who is going for a visa interview, or for the one who's waiting on you for visa, uh, a visa interview dates, Lord, you will come through every step of the way in your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we honor and we worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Good morning again. God bless you. If you share the link, I'm grateful for you. You have to share the link, but why? Please share the link. God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Um, this morning, we are continuing just to see what the Lord would help us pay attention to on this journey. And today, I think that um, yesterday we talked about knowing the God who has delegated authority to us. Remember, we talked about Paul, I, Jesus, I know Paul, I know who are you. How the spirit, um, the demon, chastised the seven sons of Sceva because they were attempting to do things in the name of a God they did not know. And um, this morning, is um, we're talking about being led by the spirit. 
if you open with me to Romans chapter number 8. Romans chapter 8, if we begin from... Um, Romans chapter, chapter 8, if we begin from verse number, say, 11, verse 11. Um, no, let me see verse 12. Romans chapter 8, verse 12. Our verse of focus is verse 14, but I want to read from verse number 12. It says, so then, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation, but not to our flesh, our human nature, our worldliness, our sinful capacity to live according to the impulses of our flesh, our nature without the Holy Spirit. For if you are living according to the impulses of your flesh, of the flesh, you are going to die. But if you are living by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are habitually putting to death the sinful deeds of the body, you will really live forever. Verse 14 says, For all who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. All who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. All who are allowing themselves to be led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. In, 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 in the kingdom, in, sorry, in the message, it says God's spirit becomes. There are things to do and places to go. There are things to do and places to go. There are things to do and places to go. If we go to the TPT, verse number 14, in the TPT, verse 14 in the TPT says, The mature children of God are those who are moved by the impulses of the Holy Spirit. Brethren, on this journey and in this place where God, in this season where God is speaking very loud and clear about him seeing glory out of our lives, him receiving glory from our lives, he, that us dispensing, glo dispensing glory on his behalf. The one thing that you don't want to leave at home is you don't want to leave your Holy, Holy Spirit at home. You want to make sure that you are led by the Spirit of God. Now, um, the day we had the Rod Chronicles, um, a number of people highlighted the um, a number of people highlighted the the details that the Lord, you know, how the, the brought is very detailed. How rot is very detailed from the colors to the, the flowers to everything is very detailed. And I remember that as they were talking, I think it was the Irene that was talking about the details. And I started to collaborate, uh, corroborate what she was saying. And I got to a point and I started to talk about this rot, immediate past rot. And I was talking about everything that the Lord had asked us to look for. From the Kali lilies to the color, every single thing he asked us to look for. To the book, Lazarus Awakening. You know, it's, it's, it's uncanny how God arranges and ensures that everything is in line with what he wants to see. Ultimately, we get to, um, I, I remember that then I just said, I said it, I said, oh, that the one thing that whenever I think I thought about that rot, I saw... Um, liquid gold i saw liquid gold i saw like a fountain and the thing that was going around the liquid that was going around around in the fountain was gold and that it was like the it, rather than the fountain and um, recycling water it was recycling anointing oil and then i said oh but we have not found fountains and that looks like the only part of the details for rot 2021 that we may not be able to meet but then I felt moved by the Spirit of God to say, but if you're on this call and you have a fountain that we can use, please let us know. And I, I remember the last thing I said was, somebody may just have it in their store somewhere. It was not four minutes later, someone sent me an inbox message and said, oh, I have, I think I have two of those, the tiny ones, the small fountains, I have them in my store. 
somewhere in Ipori. I'll talk to my shop girls and you can go pick them up tomorrow. I had to ask one of my assistants to do a video of those fountains because it was God amplifying that he's in the details. Why am I telling that story? No, not to blow my trumpet, but to help you recognize it because I've been saying it to all of you for a long time that God is in the details. If you want to walk with God at a level that you want to be sure that you are doing the will of God consistently, you have to break free from crutches. You have to just allow yourself to be led by the Spirit of God. So I started to look at the expression, being led by the Spirit of God. And I saw that the expression led, the expression led, you know, in English language, it just means to lead. But when you go to the root words, it's actually a struggle. It's a struggle between two forces until one force prevails. When it comes to being led by the Spirit of God, there is the struggle that your flesh will always struggle against the Spirit. Your flesh wants to be the dominant part of you. And if your flesh is the dominant part of you, you can't walk in the things that God is calling us to in this time. If your flesh is the dominant part of you, it will not, I don't think you'll be able to walk in the level, at the level or in, in, in the proximity or, or in most of the things that God is calling us to walk with him in, in this time. And so when he says to be led by the spirit of God, it means a conscious decision. You have to make up your mind and say, you know what? I will not be moved by the impulses of flesh. And I don't know if you have noticed, flesh has tons of impulses. All flesh has tons of impulses. The thing about the impulses of the flesh is most of them are impulses you like. They look comfortable. They look convenient. They feed your flesh. They make you feel good. That, unfortunately, is how the flesh operates. And yet, if we follow the impulses of the flesh, we will never arrive where we need to go. If we follow the impulses of the flesh, we will never arrive where we need to go. So there is always the struggle between the spirit and the flesh. And every time you allow the flesh to dominate, you are led away by your flesh. And I can promise you, would always, your flesh will always lead you contrary to the will of God. But in Romans 14, it says the mature children of God are those who are moved by the impulses of the Holy Spirit. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. All about um, God asking us to show him our glory <coughs> is to fulfill the scripture in Romans 8. Verse 19, further down from the one we're looking at today, that says that all of creation earnestly awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. Brethren, if you are a son of God, you have to learn to surrender to the spirit of God. And someone say, I really want to surrender to the spirit of God. I just don't know how. I think that it begins with trusting God. Trusting God enough to know that he would lead you by his spirit. It's not that the Holy Spirit does not speak to us. It is that because we do not, we are not clear or we are not trusting enough, we don't give way to him. We always want to take the things that we hear through the filter of what makes sense. I promise you, in the beginning of walking and allowing the Spirit of God to lead you, most of the things will not make sense. They will not make sense at all. If it didn't make sense that we had a fountain in which we had poured anointing oil, of course the fountain, because it was small, couldn't power anointing oil alone. So we had to put a bit of water in the oil, but we got the effect that we wanted. It's in my room now and periodically I just put it on. I just hear the sounds again and I, you know, of the water just going back and forth like that. And I'm remembered, reminded again that God is in the details. Brethren, initially what the things that the Spirit will be leading you to will not make sense. 
So the first half of being led by the Spirit, things will make sense after the fact. But you have to trust God enough that His Spirit speaks through you. You know, I know people want scientific step one, step two, step three. But this is the best clue and this is the best uh, key I can give you. You have to trust God enough to know and to embrace the fact that he wants to speak to you. If you trust him enough and you embrace the fact that he wants to speak to you, then that's how you start. Of course, you will make mistakes along the way. You think you heard God and then the thing will go the other direction. But I always say to people, when that happens, it's no biggie. It is just your training in knowing how God speaks to you and how he leads you essentially. And that's okay because that is how we grow in him. But to be the child of God who allows men to lead them only and do not submit or surrender to the, to the, to, to, to the leading of the Holy Spirit. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? We were at Rot and I, you know, as someone was saying, I think it was Mommy Success that was ministering. And I went and there was a shout that just came out of me. It wasn't planned. As the shout came out of me, I felt my heart go like it expanded. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, tell them that I have healed someone of angina. I don't know what it means. So I had to. Quickly Google what it meant. By Sunday, someone sent me a message. Brethren, that is trusting. I could have been afraid to verbalize what it is that the Lord has said to me. But from time, I've realized that as long as you do not, um, you're not too enamored with your reputation, you would find yourself easily led by the Spirit of God. And we're at that place right now where what matters is that we're led by the Spirit of God. We're at that place right now where we must be led by the Spirit of God. We're at that place right now where we must be led by the Spirit of God. We're at that place right now where you must be led by the Spirit of God. And I'm sitting here and I can hear God say, I'm opening doors, effectual doors, massive doors for people to walk in through. But inside of that door would be an opposition. And you on the outside already know that inside of that door, or yes, at the other side of that door is an opposition seated. But God is saying, walk through those doors regardless. Because the tools to melt and bring that opposition to its knees is in your hand and it is in a testimony. We can't be afraid to manifest as sons of God. But for us to do that well, we must trust that God wants to lead us by his spirit. And we must trust the things that don't make sense that he says to us. We must be willing to go with him regardless of whether they make what, his, what we hear makes sense or not. We must not be so interested in how people see us that we are afraid to fail on our journey to learn God. This is a learning curve for most of us. I say to you that I hear God, but every single day it's a learning. It's a learning curve for me because as I walk with him consistently, he brings me to bigger and greater things. The one I'm trying to learn you know, learn him concerning right now is so um, massive. It's so beyond my scope, my education, my everything. But he wants me to navigate it. I know he wants me to navigate it. So even though my knees are quaking and my, I am trembling, I am going to just say yes and take one step after another step after another step. Brethren, God is in the details. If you do not pay attention to the details, you will not be able to dispense glory at the level that God is asking us to dispense glory. This is not a suggestion. This is what the Lord needs from us in this season. It is not a suggestion. This is what God has called us to. Are you going to surrender to be led by the Spirit of God? Sister B, you still haven't told me one practical thing to do. I can tell you many things, but maybe I should tell you this. 
If you have issues with being led by the Spirit of God, number one, you have to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, which means you can pray in tongues. And then you want to take time to pray in tongues for a long stretch of time. Because when you do that, you activate on the inside of you a, fluidi a fluidity in your spirit so that the Holy Spirit can permeate and go in and out through you and you will not have to struggle. That is the one clue I can give you that you can do because you want me to give you something you can do. But brethren, we are at that place where our spirit must always defer to the spirit of God. Because if your spirit defers to the spirit of God, then your flesh we have to, despite the struggle, we have to align. And as long as these parts of us align, we would always be led by his spirit. He wants to lead you to greatness. He wants to lead you to... <laughs> ah. Things you did not know existed. He wants to show you stuff that you've never seen before. He wants you to begin to live a supernatural spirit-led life. But for you to do that, you must deal with the flesh. Your flesh always wants to control you. You hear the Holy Spirit tell you at 3 a.m. to wake up and pray. You snooze. You say prayer is at 5 a.m. No, when the Spirit tells you to wake up at 3 a.m. and pray, he wasn't talking about CYM. He was saying, come and step aside with me. I want to show you something. When you do that, it activates your capacity. But to turn around and pull your duvet and sleep is just is rebuffing the first step in following the Spirit of God. Does this make sense to you? Recognize that there would always be a war between the flesh and the spirit. And your job is to make sure that your spirit comes in subjection. To the, your, your, that, that this flesh comes in subjection to the spirit. You want to do great things. It doesn't mean that because it was announced at rot, you would do great things. If we were like that, all of us would be flying by now. There is a working of the things that you have heard. And these last three days, I've been doing my best to bring you to an understanding of that working. And I know you can do it. So it's time to wake up and do it. I am very clear you can do it. It is time to wake up and do it. Brethren, this is the journey. This is the journey. This is the journey. This is the journey. Will you take a chance on the Spirit of God this morning? There's someone you've not been given an appointment, but you've been asking for this appointment for a long time, but it's not been given to you. And the Holy Spirit is saying, Get on a plane and go over. And an appointment will be waiting for you. He says, I've opened the doors to you. You need to do the work now. In your fear and trepidation, get moving. In your fear and trepidation, get moving. This one will not give way by your waiting patiently. This one would happen if you take the steps. Because your steps are a declaration of faith and God will meet you at the door. It is time to move. That's what the Lord is saying to that person. Brethren, we need to allow ourselves to be led by the Spirit of God. Two things I said you should do. Number one, trust that God wants to speak to you. Trust that he's speaking to you. Trust that the things you hear are from him. Because if you're a child of God and you're not bound to anything or anyone else, nobody else should be able to speak to you. That's number one. Number two, I say activate the capacity for your ear and your heart to hear and for your flesh to step out of the way. Activate it, activate it in the place of praying in tongues. 
activate it in the pray, place of praying in tongues. The get moving, I said, was for that specific person. The details are as I have outlined it. Don't um, write in details into that thing. The details are exactly as I have outlined them. So the person knows himself. It's just this one person. The details are how I have outlined them. The details are exactly how I have outlined them. Don't add something to it and make it yours. It is not yours. Reverend, will you allow the Spirit of God to lead you? We have to learn these things. <laughs> we have to learn these things. I know you want me to just give you 10 steps. But this has been my life for over 26 years. So I can't give it to you in one capsule. It's a journey you need to walk by yourself. You have to surrender. You have to step up by faith. You have to be willing to be a fool. You have to be willing to show, come back and say, ah, I thought it was Holy Spirit. It wasn't Holy Spirit. Oh. You have to be willing to be wrong. And as you do that, God will begin to resource you and will begin to weed out what isn't him and establish in your life what is him. Brethren, it is time for us to allow ourselves to be led by the Spirit of God. The catch is, if you are not led by the Spirit of God, it doesn't matter whether you, are, you have the appellation of Pope or Bishop or Reverend. You are not a son of God. I'm not the one that said it. It's in your scripture. So you can't take this lightly and you can't treat it with levity. Yesterday, I talked a lot about tutors and governors. I wasn't very vocal about it, but if you were paying attention, you would hear. Some of us need to go and submit somewhere. You've been trying to do it by yourself. All you do is mess your life up. It's time to stop running and submit. <laughs> it's time to swallow humble pie and submit. Do not waste your life in the flash and the dirt and the lights. If you were submissive, I would have told you to stop that nonsense. But you are not submissive, so what can I say? But I promise you, what you are killing by this year, I am the person. By running around thinking that you've heard God, it's going to break you. Do not allow yourself to be disgraced like that. Stop. Stop. If this were God, you would not need to force it. Let yourself be led by the Spirit of God. If there's someone on this prayer call this morning who wants to give their life to Jesus, who needs to give their lives to Jesus, then this is the moment you say with me, Lord Jesus, I give you my life because there's no spirit that will lead you that is of God unless you've given your life to Jesus. So it's not, you can't just wake up, no relationship with Jesus and expect to be led by the spirit of God. So pray with me today and say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. 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 Is there someone this morning, or whatever time you get to listen to the podcast, who wants to give your life to Jesus? You need to stop and say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. I've tried to run by myself. I've just been told to Kogwa Wale, stop. Lord, I give you my life. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Is there someone giving their lives to Jesus today. The rest of you, who is the person that needs to go humble themselves? You heard me. Don't try to block it out. The Lord is talking to you. Stop that nonsense. You are not all that already. 
nobody has ever caught you from start to finish. You start a journey, you don't finish it. And God is saying, if you don't stop, I'm going to do something soon. And you won't like it. Brethren, may God grant you grace to surrender right now. To stop holding back in the name of Jesus. Remember for the one who needs to just jump. You will not break a leg. But even if you broke a leg, don't worry. It will heal fast. <laughs> Ouch. It is time to get in, brethren. We must allow the Spirit of God to lead us. You see, we are in it. I don't know whether I'm the only one. But I maybe I'm the only one. But I'm at a stage where the less the mistakes I make, the better. And the only way not to make mistakes is to let Holy Spirit lead me. So, Spirit of God, I surrender and I submit again this morning. Lead me, O oh God. Lead me again, 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 O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. If you'd like to register for the Power of the Mind course, please do so. If you give your life to Jesus, please reach out to 0809056-3555. Purpose Investors continues this weekend. You, If you want to be part of that, you can sign up. And we're beginning to take a wait list for mentoring with DMM. If you'd like to find out about that as well, reach out to Ijoma 0809056-3555. And register. May God be kind to you in the name of Jesus. Remember, those who are led by God, by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. That's the only way you are born of God if you are led by His Spirit. Remember that before the Spirit will lead you, your flesh will fight. Remember to always put your flesh under. Remember to take time and pray consistently over a, lo a long space of time in tongues so that you can learn composure and your spirit will be clear so that you can hear the spirit of God. Remember that trusting that God wants to speak to you and that the things you hear are from him is the only way you learn to eliminate what is not God so that you can focus on what is God. Thank you so much for joining the prayer call this morning. This evening at 7 p.m. we'll continue our study of the book of Exodus. And um, yes, I don't even remember where last we stopped, but I'll look for it. So um, I'll see you this evening at 7 p.m. And for CYM, I'll see you tomorrow morning. If Jesus tarries, God bless you. And have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.